Hey, everyone. Welcome into uh, my Fanatic News YouTube page. B-Pal picks um, betting on the NFL, the NFL football weekend. We didn't have a Thursday night game this week, but we do have a great bunch of games on the weekend. As I'm Joe Boric, joined here by Pierlo Wisdom. Please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel and let us know what you think about your own picks and what you're playing this weekend. But how you doing, Pierlo? Doing great, buddy. It's getting uh, here in the uh, Canada, Alberta. It's getting in the winter time already. We had a little bit of snow yesterday. Uh, didn't stay on the ground, though, so that's good. Yeah, you know, they just got to get your uh, feet a little wet before the uh, big storm comes in. Yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but we're going to get right into her today. Uh and we're going to start from the 1 o'clock games on Sunday and move our way up. Our first 1 o'clock game is my Eagles um, against the Baltimore Ravens. Uh, this is a game, yeah, let's just say that I'm not very confident that <laughs> my Eagles are going to win this game. Um, so I'm going to lean the Ravens here. They've been one of the better teams. Uh, the Eagles will have some fans in the stands, which will help um, since it is in Philly. Uh, this will be the first game that has fans in the stands in Philly, uh, up to 7,500 people they can have. Um, but I don't know. I mean, Lamar's still been pretty spot on this year. He only had one bad game. Wentz has been pretty spot off this year. Uh, so <laughs> I. Uh, I believe that the Ravens are going to be able to take this one, unless if the caveat is that Miles Sanders is able to have a fantastic game um, and just does really good against the Ravens' defense. That could really help us out to be able to upset them, but you're not going to beat them just by throwing. So you're going to have to have your back have a very good game and go from there, and their backs are pretty damn good as well. Mark Ingram's been good this year, but what do you think? I'm assuming Ravens. I'm saying Ravens. I mean, Wentz is, is a great quarterback if, like, you don't pressure him at all. <laughs> so if he has to do anything besides throw, it's not – it doesn't Well, he's actually a good quarterback on the run, throwing on the run, actually, statistically. It's just – you have to roll him out more. The Eagles run run a lot of bland plays. They have a very bland playbook that's very predictable for a lot yeah, of Yeah, uh, that's true. That is defenses. very true. Yeah. So, but that's yeah, why I, I also don't have to beat the Ravens, who run one of the better defenses in the NFL. So. Yeah, they run the better. And, yeah, it's probably a poor coaching decision, Yeah, I would say. But, uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to go uh, the Ravens here. I, I like them to cover as well. So I'll take the Ravens and the spread. Cool. We'll move on to another 1 o'clock game, which is uh, the Chicago Bears, who are 4-1 and one at the Carolina Panthers. Uh, we have this in as a uh, money line, so we can't comment on that. But what we can comment in is in on is the total, which is forty four and a half for this game, um, and the spread, which is plus one and minus one. So, um, but the total, do you think this has a chance to go over or under the forty four and a half? Bears, I actually man. like the under on. I like the under forty four, and that and that's not something that we would normally do because it's such a low under. But it's a low under for a reason. I really think it's going to go under. There's definitely a chance because these teams win more off of their defense playing very good pack games, and then one of the teams being able to score, um, say like a seventeen fourteen type or win there. So yeah, that could happen. Uh, 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 but th and then you think that the team, obviously someone, whoever wins, is going to have to cover a one-point spread. Yeah, which almost so. we can't really even put it in because it's basically like saying, I'm not, <laughs> since it's a paid pick, we probably won't even worry about the spread pick there either because it'd be kind of silly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Our pick is probably, probably going to cover the spread, yeah, I'd say. 
If I'm not confident in the spread, then I'm probably not confident in the NL. <laughs> yeah, obviously. Yeah, so. That's for sure. And then uh, we have the Bengals, who have been a very competitive, scrappy 1-3-1 and one team this year against the Colts. Um, this game is in Indianapolis. Uh, what do you think about this game, Bengals-Colts? Um. Well, I just noticed that uh, I, I didn't notice this before we did the video that they're giving. Uh, oh, OK. Yeah. I think the Colts will win, but I think the Bengals will cover. They've been a very surprising team this year, mostly because of Burrow. Um, I think the Bengals could probably cover the eight here. Eight spread. I agree yeah, with that. Spread. No. Yeah. But I think the Colts will win. Um, the Colts seem to be when they do win, they usually do enough to win. I think that game might go over too, honestly, though, because these teams could get in a shootout between Rivers and Burrow. Yeah. Um, they don't have the most splendid defenses. So that could also go over the 40, 46 and a half. And I do think the Bengals can stay within eight points. Um, I could even see that being a field goal game, potentially with how scrappy and competitive the Bengals have been. Yeah, um, yeah, but I do think it will go to the Colts. Um, so I agree with you on all that. I just also think that uh, it will go um, potentially. I think it can go over the forty-six and a half. So there you go, uh, Range from Capper's Companion. This is we're doing this also for him for that. He, if you haven't seen that uh, his channel, I'd highly recommend you go over there. What he does is he gets all different cappers and he tells every shows everybody what everybody's picks are, so you can go to all one place. And uh, it's a pretty cool little channel he's got there. But that would be Bengals to cover the spread, Colts to win. And over forty, and over the, and over the total. So those are three fine picks right there for you. Yep. Then we have, which we do not have a play on this game either. Uh, for our paid uh, Patreons, we have one of the uh, more, not the most fun, but uh, has a fun quarterback in the stash, Gardner Minshew, in Jacksonville. The Jaguars taking on the Detroit Lions. Uh, this is a game. That I personally think at home, uh, Jacksonville's going to be able to take. Um, but what do you think on that? Um, Jacksonville burnt me enough this year. Uh, I'm pretty fady on this game altogether. Uh, <laughs> I think Minshew will have a solid game this week at home uh that's why i feel jacksonville's gonna have a good game this week at home and be able to beat a disappointing lions team yet again yeah Patricia, who's a very not good head coach so yeah i'll give a slight lean to jacksonville there it wouldn't surprise yeah, i'm me. not like praising like a hallelujah, they're going to win. I'm just saying yeah. I think Jacksonville's going to win, yeah. I think yeah. at home gives them an advantage because uh, I'm pretty sure they're going to have some fans, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong there. I could be thinking of um, the other my or the other teams like Miami, but I think Jacksonville's supposed to have some fans as well. Um, our other 1 o'clock game – is not that interesting. Uh, it's a Vikings Falcons game, zero and five against a one and four team. I do believe the one and four Vikings are probably going to be able to win on their home field uh, in Minnesota. But what do you think about that game? Yeah, I like the Vikings as well. Um, really, not much more to say about that. I no. just. I like the Vikings to cover the four-point spread, though, too, because yeah. the Falcons have been horrendous this year. I think this will be – the Vikings are one and four. They're good to be two and four after this, and they'll keep building up their confidence, and I think they'll be able to stomp on the Falcons, and they'll be able to kind of get going and cement themselves as the team they should have been and yeah. not the team they started off to be without a preseason. I think they're starting to come into their own here with Justin Jefferson and those boys out there with Kirk Cousins. So I think uh, they're going to be pretty solid. 
Now, this I, is probably... I, I wouldn't be against the over here as well, because the Falcons do have a strong offense. They just have a horrid defense, and, and uh, the Vikings... Four and a half. Yeah, there's a chance. There's definitely a chance that it could go over. But I definitely, you know what? I'm almost probably giving you guys some a free pick, paid pick here because the more I look at this game, the more I like Minnesota and the co- and to, and, and to, to cover, which isn't bad, which isn't bad money really for the uh, percentage of chance that they're going to do that. But uh, that's fine. We didn't put it in yet, so hmm. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then this is probably the least interesting game of the day between the NFC East divisions. Washington football team and the New York Giants. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Giants are at home. They haven't won a game yet. Can Washington be their first uh, team that they can win against? Uh, it seems like Kyle Allen's going to keep starting for Washington at this point, um, as long as he's healthy. And it seems like he's online to be able to um, start this game. So, if he starts, he'll be going up against Daniel Jones, who really needs to get going, excuse me, on the battle of the number eight. I believe this could be the week that the Giants could get their first win, but that's only a slight lean, and quite frankly, I don't really care about this game because it's just not an interesting game that could be one that is probably going to pop up on red zone a lot. Uh, So... Uh, it's one of those games that I would pretty much fade, but I would yeah. give a slight lean to the Giants winning their first game, maybe. Yeah. All right. Not well, that. <laughs> and uh, the, uh, even the the total, I I can't I, I I could see it not going over forty three, but forty three is such a low number that. And these teams are so inconsistent that it could be either way. So I don't really like this game at all. So yeah. if you had to tie me down and pick something, I'd say under just because they're, both teams are so bad that they may not get any offense going at all. Yep. And then Texans-Titans at home at Tennessee. Uh, the undefeated uh, Titans four will go up against the one and four Texans. Um, we do have a game... And for our paid picks, uh, for the spread on this one, so we won't comment on that, but we can comment on whatever else, um, the total here. So I do think this game has a chance to, quite frankly, with the way these teams play, potentially be under the 53 and a half, but what do you think? Yeah, we're 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 right on to we're making it easy for uh, for uh, Ranch here. I'm I'm on the under too. Sometimes when we differ, he'll put oh B likes this and Powell likes that, but I like the under here too. Um, I'm, it's uh, they're not it's not too, they're not the greatest offenses and and uh, defense has been playing for. I, I like the under. And then this game, Denver, New England, we have to bring up the Patriots had another COVID test canceling practice today. So if this game goes on, I would definitely lean New England in New England. They're at a minus 450. Everybody thinks they're going to win. And I I believe that as well, especially with Cam Newton coming back. So if this game goes on or if it gets moved to become a Tuesday game and goes on then, what have you, you probably believe Patriots as well. Yeah, absolutely. Cam Newton, yeah, absolutely. Even though Locke might be back, but he hasn't thrown for a while a lot more rusty no. than Newton would be, so I would definitely take uh, Patriots. And then we uh, have the Browns and uh, Steelers. I think I skipped over that one, didn't I? Yeah, well, this is the exciting yeah. game in our little this land. This is the anyways. game, yeah. <laughs> that's uh, Steel's team versus Pirlo's team yeah. uh, in the – Pittsburgh. So I'll let you go first on uh, this one. What do you think about this game? Well, oh man, <laughs> I honestly can't see Browns winning this game. But uh, 
it's the there's a lot of emotion in this game because uh, first of all, I love Steel. Steel's awesome. He's my bro. But he absolutely despises the Browns. And the Browns just have <laughs> He's a, obviously his name is Steel for a reason. He's a huge Steelers fan. So it's about the only way that we were there's much friction between the two of us. But there is a lot of friction between the two of us. I don't really push his buttons about it too much, but he despises the Browns for obvious reasons, the little helmet incident <laughs> and all of that. Uh, so um, I would love to see the Browns win this, but in all honesty, my capper's helmet on, I, I can't see it. I see. I think the Steelers will pull it through. I mean Steelers, yeah, uh, but I think the uh, spread is at three and a half because I think this game's going to be very close. But I would definitely lean Steelers. Um, mm -hmm. Now we are going to move to the four oh five game. We're going to just gloss right over this one and say the Dolphins are going to um, win this game. Um, over the uh, New York Jets, don't you think? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. That's, even if you're only getting a quarter of your money back, yeah. throw a 1,000 on it, make yourself 250 and go home because there's no way the Jets are winning. I think the Dolphins could even cover the nine-point spread. Cause I think so, too, yeah. Be, yeah, the Jets I think suck, they're absolutely so. going to destroy them. Um, Especially after beating the 49ers last week, they're going to be feeling good. They're going to be feeling confident. That could be like an absolute route. Yeah, I definitely like the nine and a half there. Yeah. Now on to the good 425 game. Um, well, four o'clock hour game because one's at 405. The good game is Green Bay at Tampa Bay. Um, I would lean Green Bay in this. They've been knocking it on all cylinders. Matt yeah. LaFer and Alan Rodgers seem to be on point. Mm -hmm. uh, I would definitely uh, lean um, them here. And then over, I would also lean for 55 points. Wouldn't you say that yeah. game would probably yeah, I like go over? We also, sure. we also weren't supposed to give you that money line. I accidentally gave you that. So that was a uh, by accident. For it happens. Oops. Yeah, there's a free pick for you, but there's uh, a free paid pick it, for it. Is, it is it it yeah. Um, but I definitely would say over and then yeah, what I said before. Um so yeah. 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 So uh we'll move on to the LA Rams who have been knocking it on all cylinders other than one game this year. Yeah. San Francisco 49ers in San Francisco. Who do you think is gonna take this? one and we do not have a play on this one uh who do you think is going to take this game what do you think of the total or spread this is a tough one man uh are the 49ers going to get it together i mean okay last game against the dolphins garoppolo had a horrible game you could play that into the fact that maybe he was still a little bit injured or if he's a little rusty or what have you or they could have just used it as an excuse but, I mean, if the 49ers play at the what they can play at, they should win this game, right? But the Rams have been playing fair, well above their heads already all, all season here. So, um, I don't mind the Rams minus three, like, taking the spread. I, oh, I, hell yeah. 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 I think I like the Rams minus three here. It's probably Yeah, I think the so. I think the Rams will uh, be within that threshold. I think they're also the team that I'm leaning to win because they've been very good this year. Uh, they're a team that's trying to – they're right now second in the West at 4-1. and one, So uh, they're going to continue to try to uh, be right behind the uh, – what's it called? It, uh, the uh, Seattle Seahawks because they're undefeated at 5-0. and oh. So, uh, I think that I'm going to lean the Rams. They've been playing really well this year, and I think they're going to continue to do so. The 49ers have to still kind of figure things out on their team, and people are starting to come back. So, now they have to get their chemistry back and all that good stuff. So, I'm going to definitely lean the Rams to continue going on their winning ways. 
One thing I will uh, say about the, the one thing you got to say about the 49ers is that their defense still has been playing well. It's been basically the offense that have been the problem here. Uh, they they've kept their opponents under 25 points for uh, three of the four games, and. So I, I do like I, I I'd lean the under in this game is what I'm trying to say. Gotcha. Fifty one point five. I'll I'll lean the under on this. Sounds good to me. Our first Monday night game of a doubleheader, uh again, is the Kansas City Chiefs at five PM against the Buffalo Bills. Wow. And that is five Eastern. Uh we got the Bills at home in this town of two great AFC opponents. And I think that will help the Bills slightly, but I'm not sure to be able to win. I almost uh, fade this game just because I think it's going to be so close uh, and yeah. it's just going to come down potentially to who has the last possession. <laughs> Could very well be. Uh, yeah. They're giving the Chiefs the points here. Maybe that'd be about giving the Chiefs the spread minus minus three and a half. So um, no, no, they're not. They're giving the Bills. So maybe take the Bills plus three and a half. But I just I get the feeling with this game it can go anyway. Uh, Bills didn't have the best outing last week, uh, so it. I just have a feeling it could go anyway. And if you tie me down, I'm probably going to go with Mahomes all the time. So uh, <laughs> the only thing I do like about this, and I think you do as well, is probably the over 57 and a half. Yeah. Yeah, I can definitely see that with these two offenses. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. But now, besides that, if I got to pick one, I'm going to take the Chiefs. Are you going to take the Bills? And then we'll give Rand uh, something to put both of our names down on. I honestly think the Bills might be able to take it. So, yeah, I was going to lean the Bills at home. Okay, I'm taking the Chiefs. You take So the their Bills. fans can smash through some tables tomorrow night in celebration. Or not tomorrow night, Monday night, I mean. Yeah, I don't yeah. know why I said tomorrow. It's hard. I like both of these quarterbacks. That's the thing. I love Mahomes, of course. But I really, really love Josh Allen. Yeah, Joe Allen as well. So, yeah. Yeah. Now – our final game to wrap up is the uh, Cowboys and Cardinals, which we cannot comment on who we think is going to win because that's a paid play, which you can go to our Patreon to check out at BPAL Picks uh, slash Patreon. Um, but we can comment on the total, which is at 54 and a half. Which way do you think that's going to go? Uh... I think it's going to be close to that total. That's the problem. Um, fade it. I would probably fade it. Uh, under. Under. Just because Andy Dalton hasn't played, right? So it could be a little bit of an adjustment there. And, I mean, he's a good quarterback, though. So... But because he hasn't been playing in regular games, maybe there's an adjustment there and they don't put up as many points as normal. So that would be probably it. That makes sense. No, I can definitely see that being the case. So I would definitely roll with that. But mm-hmm. that wraps up our NFL uh, picks and leans uh, for this week. I hope everyone enjoys the great football weekend this week. And um, for a, uh, Pierlo, I am Joe Boric. Uh, this is BPAL Picks, NFL Picks for the week. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great week, everybody. Peace out.